Hi, my name is Perry Gunderman. I'm a consultant with Coda Bears, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy DLLs to a local workstation using the Epicor Updater. Now, many of you have probably developed a solution within Epicor, but when you go to run it on a local machine, you get this message saying that a file or assembly could not be found. This is caused by a file not being downloaded to the PC. Typically, how we would resolve this issue is to either provide a DLL to each person via email or file sharing and have them place in the client directory, or spend the time of an IT manager placing it on each and every machine. Today, we're going to look at a much faster way to do this. To start, you'll need to be on the server that hosts the Epicor environment. Once here, you won't need to open up Epicor. Instead, open a file explorer, navigate to the C drive, Epicor, ERP10, ERP10 client, ERP10 set point 0 0.700 or your version number, then go to your client deployment directory. Client config. Here you will see a sysconfig file for each environment that you have hosted. These are typically your production, pilot, test, and train. So for this, for each environment I want to update, I'm going to have to open up the file, and then at the bottom we'll find a customization line. Now, this line here, customization name equals HF1, directory name equals HF1, version equals 10.0.700.6, with deployment type of X copy, does not normally exist within the Epicor 10 file for sysconfig. This line is added in order to force the updates to take place. Here, we'll worry mostly about the version number, since it begins with the value of whatever environment you're using, such as this version, 700.4, right below it, with a 1 added to the end. As you can tell, I've applied a few updates using this method, which is why I'm up to 0 0.6. The customization name and directory name can be changed from HF1, but you'll have to rename the folder directory to match it. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Since I'm going to put out another update, I'm going to want to change 0.6 to 0.7 and then save the file. Now that I've saved my sysconfig file, I need to put the DLL or other file that I want to deploy to every machine within a directory we just specified. For this, let's go back up a few levels and then go into our custom folder under the Epicor ERP10 ERP10.0.700 client deployment directory. Inside here, we'll find another client and the HF1 file. Again, if you want to name the HF1 file something different, you are perfectly free to. However, make sure you reflect the name of that folder in both the sysconfig files and within the actual directory. Inside here, we'll see DLLs that I've deployed to the machines before. So, I'll grab the file, which is here on my desktop, place it inside the directory, verify security, and we're ready to roll out the update. So, let's go back to my local machine. You can leave a session of Epicor running when you make these changes, but for them to take place, you'll have to close and reopen Epicor. As you can see, this auto-update window now appears when I open Epicor. It'll take a minute or two to grab all the files from Epicor and download them onto the machine. This will grab everything that exists, so it does take a while, but it will also grab the new files that you've added to that HF1 directory. Once the dialog window disappears, let's go ahead and open up Epicor again. Then let's open up the order entry quick print application that we've built here at Coda Bears and give it a test. Aha, now it opened successfully. Let's make sure everything's working properly, doing a quick print of an order. Go up to this bar, click our sales order quick print, and in just a moment we have our sales order. As you can see, this is way faster than the old method of deploying it to each machine manually, and it's actually something that the user can do on their own just by simply opening up Epicor as they would normally. Hopefully this presentation will come in handy for you in the future while developing solutions. Thank you, and have a good day.